Hello and welcome to Daily Dose Radio, a five-minute a day podcast studying the Psalms verse by verse, recorded here in the dining room of the Bible Bistro, located in Sharonville, Ohio. Hey there, friends. Welcome back to Daily Dose Radio here in the Bible Bistro. And Daily Dose Radio is a simple little podcast, just five minutes a day, five days a week studying the Psalms verse by verse. And because we do it five minutes a day, we can take time and go through the Psalms verse by verse. I just want to cover every single one if I can. Sometimes I miss it, but we've been doing this now for eight years, eight plus years. And this is the third volume of Daily Dose Radio. We've actually studied through the Psalms twice now. This is time number three. This is volume number three, as I like to call it. And we're here in Psalm 18, which is a seminal psalm in the book of the Psalms. It's very important because there's so many themes that we find all throughout the Psalms that you know begin right here in Psalm 18. Let's see. Today we are looking at the last two verses in uh, this section, 31 through 40. So today, 39 and 40. And again, he goes back to, we had the sort of little interlude, his Magna Carta against his enemies. And we can take this up as our Magna Carta against sin and say, I will pursue my enemies, I will overtake them, and so forth. Because our fight is not against enemies with swords and shields, but our fight is against enemy, an enemy, an intractable enemy, who wants to destroy us with our sin. And so we want to stand against him, especially if you're a believer. If you're a believer, then you know this fight that's taking place. If you're not a believer yet, then you don't understand the fight that's taking place because you're not fighting. You're you're not there yet. So, But for the believer, this is our Magna Carta. This is what we say. We will overcome. Because, not because we're anything, but because God has given us valor for the fight. He's the one that set our feet on high places. He's the one that's set our foot in a large, broad spot. Uh, You know, he's the one that's done all this. And now we return to David's song of praise here in 39 and 40 because he says, You have girded me with valor for the battle. Well, we had that up there in verse 32, didn't we? And here it is again. You have girded me with valor for the battle. Uh, You have bowed under me those that rose up against me. You have given me the necks of my enemies, and all those that hated me I annihilated. So he says, this is what God has done. Again, this is the in praise of you, number two. It It starts there in 35 and goes all the way down here to 40. So God has done a work. He always does this work. And it's always his work in us. It's not our work. Yes, we have to say yes to the work. We have to be willing to be subject to him, and we have to be willing to stand in the fight. But ladies and gentlemen, he's the one that will glorify himself in us in our struggle against sin. Dear believer, you have a struggle against sin. You have it every day, and you need to take up your shield and your buckler your sword, your helmet, your breastplate, as Paul writes there in Ephesians chapter 6, gird yourself for the battle. And above all, take up prayer, you know, because it's prayer, ladies and gentlemen, that we have the promise. According to his word, he hears us, and he answers us, and he delivers us. Just as David said back there in verse 6 of Psalm 18, when he prays that prayer, Or he makes this statement, in my distress, I called upon the Lord. And I would like to suggest that Psalm 17 is his prayer of distress. He calls on the Lord, and then Psalm 18 is nothing more than just in praise of all that the Lord has done. You have girded me with valor for the battle. (laughs) And so, Christian friend, he has girded you with valor for your battle. And all those who rose up against you, they will bow under your feet because the Lord has given you the victory. Well, join me again tomorrow or next week on Monday, and we're going to take up Psalm 18, verses 41 through 50, here on Daily Dose Radio. 
Thanks for listening to Daily Dose Radio. For more fresh and delicious Bible studies, podcasts, books, and more, check out The Bible Bistro online and on YouTube. Join me again next time for Daily Dose Radio.